It's another day, another contract. Um, one somewhat familiar in, in like, uh, reasoning to other ones. <coughs> reasoning? God, sorry. I am full of the cold today, so if I start talking random nonsense, it's just because of all the drugs I'm taking to help manage it. Um, don't worry. Yeah, heroin are you is sure very you're helpful. Not randomly possessed by um, are you sure you're just not randomly possessed by her club? I do declare, sir. No. Um, yeah, you guys make your way into the take. It's another day. You've been. Well, I'll have the the person in charge take you through it. But yeah, we see you all come in. Uh, sort of get situated round. There's a a new face amongst you. Um. No one's behind the desk to start with. I'm, you know, Erzin isn't even here. Fuck off, Erzin. And yeah, the room's just pretty much empty to begin with. Apart from this this very large, like, dog-sized cat sitting on one of these chairs, like, looking at you. Little, like, <laughs> tentacles coming out of its back and, like, shaking slightly in your direction. Alright. So who are we meant to be seeing in here? It's usually a halfling, but hey, apparently they're on convention. There's more than one halfling. Be nice. Wait. We have names. Hey, I hadn't seen you before. You new? As new as new can no, be. No, Loxon. He's not. <laughs> ah. Well, I thought I'd be right with those people. Hey, good to meet you. <laughs> Name's Loxon. He thinks the young girl is being sarcastic. Hello, Luxon. Well, looks like we're going to be going on a mission if we can ever find the Merton, wherever he's gone to. Uh, Rogar, what are you doing? You seem to be sitting in Merton's chair. That's exactly he's what he's doing. Yeah, so you just sit and get comfy in the chair. What, now you've <laughs> learned to read, you think you're in the place? Is there any... <laughs> Those of intellectual superiority are uh, entitled to the chair. There's a pause. You know, Rogar, you just so sit there all comfortable. There... Sorry, go on, Rogar. Is there a contract on the table or anything? No. No, nothing on the table. And as you're sitting there, uh, a voice from behind you goes, I don't think um, that our good employer would appreciate you being there, darling. And appearing from nowhere, a red-skinned, silver-haired tiefling with long red horns just appears, her hands on Rogar's shoulders. So when you try and get up and, and like, scurry away, out. <laughs> you'd, have to, you'd have to pull yourself from her grasp. And she chuckles as you go. You always spook people right, like that. Make an acrobatics check to go over the table. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 24. <laughs> uh, yeah, what did I miss because everyone turned robot? Uh, a red-skinned, long-horned tiefling appeared wearing a black robe behind the uh, behind Rogar and gave him a wee scare. And she sort of chuckles and goes, Oh, someone snuck up at Rogar. Not always, deep, my dear, but sometimes it can be amusing. And she uh, she slips into the chair very sort of elegantly and Gets herself comfortable. It's like, you are uh, the ones... Let's have a look, darlings. You're the ones here for the contract today, yes? Yep, yeah, seems to be. Uh, who are you? I am Zahar. I am Zahar Hydris. I'm a senior take member here. Uh, her, um, Merton asked me to... No, actually there's a H in there. Merton, Merton asked me to... Um, fill in today. He's off on a uh, contract. Well, diplomatic mission? I don't know the details. I just got told to be here today and make sure you all got your contract. That's <laughs> oh. weird. He go there after the hot springs? <laughs> Let's see. She sounds like she's got a silver spoon up her ass. Hmm. You suddenly have a rusty one up there, darling. Let's see. She looks around and Points at Elhir, who is this uh, fire genasi, kind of a swarvy uh, eastern feel to him. Points, he goes, you I do not know. Looks at uh, Gwyneth, goes, 
You, I think I have heard of. You're the, uh, the one who got burnt a lot on her first year, first week. Looks uh, at... Yeah, sounds a bit right. Looks at, uh... Looks at the... Towering sort of rumor and goes, You, I do not know. Um, I don't know. You, uh, a half-orc? Or something else? Who, me? Yes, you. No, 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 no. The man of the earth, myself. Ah, uh, salt of the earth, respect. Genasi, dear. Very Genasi, good. Genasi, dear. You, she points at Milo. Well, you, I know, you're Milo. You're the one who had the dream about punching a bailor in the dick, yes? <laughs> yes, it was quite, re- quite real. <clears throat> very good, very good. And uh, looks over at the, the half-orc with the cowboy hat and they heard your accent and goes, you must be her clock? <laughs> no, I'm a prettier son, don't worry. Very good. I did think you seemed... Merton left notes about that one. Um, and she looks over at Rogar and goes, and you must be Rogar. You helped kill the hand. Impressive work. Kill, kill the lot. The hand. Well, let's not yeah. kill my I hand. Thought, one of my I thought you were supposed to kill the whole body, not just the hand. She rolls her like silver thinking. eyes. <laughs> I know, I know. I have to spend a day with them. Don't even start. <laughs> yes. Well, darlings, um, to business then. Um, as really? No time for pleasure? <laughs> Another eye roll from her silver You've eyes. got a tabaxi that looks son. And an eye roll from me as well. <laughs> Just eye rolling all around from everyone all day long. Um, to yours. Anyway, with Merton away, I've been told just to assign you your contract. Um, we had a woman approach us, actually. This is a little odd one. A bit of in-house work for uh, for management downstairs, so to speak. Um, <laughs> we had a woman approach us um, about killing a white half-dragon, one that the takers worked with before. Um as far as I know, it, a perfectly amicable Bridget's. chap. A perfectly amicable chap. As such, we uh, we obviously did not take the contract, but are now somewhat concerned he might be in danger. Recently, the uh, the guild came into a little money, uh, so we decided to put up 200 gold for each of you. If you can find Chatterbox, the half-white dragon, in the wilderness, and... Make sure he's all right. Inform him he might be in danger, and if necessary, protect him. I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, I've, I've seen him fight a black dragon. I'm not really sure. Sure, fine, fine, whatever. I don't think this <laughs> chick is, um, how you say, on the same level as a child black dragon. Are you fucking kidding me? This wasn't a child. <laughs> this was a big dragon. Two big dragons, actually. Sounds like you had a pretty crazy contract there. I, I don't know much about that particular encounter, but as I understand it, you were there with him when he fought the dragons, yes? Perhaps he wouldn't yes. have been so successful yeah. without you. I was not. Well, some of you. Some of us, anyway. I, I made a mistake in that contract, actually. I remember it well. We all make mistakes from time to time. Well, I've been told. I, 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 I'm I, very small and ran towards a black dragon. Not oh. normally the best idea. I had a similar in- experience. Was yours also fully grown and did you kill it? Wasn't fully grown, if I remember. Oh. Okay, we had different experiences. Oh, hey, if you like fighting fully grown, there's an ancient black dragon in the swamp somewhere. You could go kill that for me. I, I uh, feel like we're getting I, off topic. I feel like I'd kill that for me. Well, if everyone's done with the uh, dick waving, we could. Uh, could we get onto the contract? <laughs> oh, I haven't even started yes. waving my dick, dear. But that's fine. You guys go along. A, uh, be careful. You have a dick. <laughs> she, she, she smiles and goes, "What? Did you think I only had horns? I thought that was a tail." <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Smiling and goes, truly salt of the earth. All right, on your way. I've got all this paperwork to do, and I have to. I still haven't managed to find um, Merton's stash of booze. She starts looking Third through drawers. Third drawer down. Opens the third door. Ah, thank you. Ah. <laughs> Is there any pies for the new guy? Oh, yes, pies. That's a thing. There's absinthe <laughs> under the carpet, too. <laughs> She she looks she looks like oh yeah she reminded me thank you and she like goes into her bag and pulls out like a brown sack and brings out some grease paper and she goes um who was the new one again me you said the you didn't know me looking fellow I don't know a lot of people here uh, we have a pie for you I know it sounds strange they're magic that doesn't make it sound less strange but that's what it is um. Basically, you eat this pie. It's a death pie. pie. Yeah, eat this death pie, and it acts like the death ward spell for eight hours. Should you drop, should you be attacked in a way that would drop you down, you should st stay standing. It's kind of like a second chance. Useful for newer initiates, not just getting killed in one shot. Understood. I also have. Yeah, it's free. I also have a healing pie for you. I was told to give this particularly to the initiate. Uh, healing pie is just a, a pie that does 3d4 healing. And I have uh, three other healing pies. I'm adding the pies to a sheet right now. Uh, <laughs> Remy, was it? Uh, Remy, yes. Yeah, that, that ward pie let me tank a adult red dragon's fire breath and not die. So... You know, use it. I don't suppose uh, any of these pies are uh, vegetarian. <laughs> actually, the healing In the, my... the the death ward pies are actually vegetarian. But um, no, I'm afraid the other, the other ones are not. In my tribe, vegetarians die. Well, when you had the upbringing I had, you uh, learned not to trust people bringing you random meat. <laughs> yeah, his, his, his dad's kind of a cannibal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> not even a kind of about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mean, basically, lots of more deep meat unless he cold. literally sees the animal that comes off and is handed to him. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yes, but he's it, I, I'm basically waiting. Uh, I'm waiting for some people to tell me who take those pies. By the way, before we can kind of continue on, yeah, I can yeah, so cut I've, myself up if needed. So I'll take one of the healing pies then. I think okay, Adam should take one too. Yeah, yeah. Olive has one. Gwyneth has one. And uh, who uh, who takes the last one? I give it to Loxon, whether he likes it or not. Okay, and Loxon gets them. Very good. Yeah. Enjoy your culinary delights and try not to get killed. Oh, uh, and before we leave, as is now custom before contracts, I'm going to use divine sense to make sure <laughs> she isn't some kind of <laughs> strange <laughs> creature. I mean, she's a little bit fiendy. A little bit's okay. Yeah, just, just a little bit. That's just, just how I like it. Just the tip. <laughs> just, just the tip. <laughs> All right, you guys. You guys head out. Goddamn fucking traps! I I take the pies and we'll just walk out the door. As she's for everyone's finishing up talking. Cool. Well, I'll see you later as well, darling. Bye. Um, as you as you say that, you you turn around, you begin to head out. The doors open up, and in walks this uh, tall <laughs> half orc, um, like six six, um, full beard. Kind of old, uh, looking like in his 60s. Goes in. Uh, locks in, my boy. Billy, come here, oh. Billy. Out of the way, Rogar. Uh, he shoves uh, Rogar uh, out the way. Like, <laughs> straight through the window. Um, <laughs> <laughs> locks in, my lad. Billy, come here, Billy. And he walks up, wraps his, his huge arms around Locks in. Goes, ah, uh, my boy's hidden out on a contract. Out into that wide, dangerous world. You, you're right, lad. You've been eating rats. You, you're all ready for the day. 
I asked you not to do this inside to, inside to take puffs. I'm, just, I'm just so proud of you, boy. You've you've been you've been working towards this. I know. I've I've heard you've been doing well on your contracts. You you even survived I, one with Lucia. Not many can say that these days. Oh, <laughs> oh it's, just, it's so God, fine Lucia to was see you. Oh, yeah, I don't know. All those those singing goblins I sent to you, they they didn't lie about him, did they, boy? Oh, he's pretty amazing. But I, I could use it with some bread. Some oh, I'm sorry he, he puts you down. I'm just, uh, you know, I, I love you like like a son, boy. I mean, because you're my son, but also, yeah, you want to, I'm just emotional. You know how it is. You know how I get. I, uh, I do, I do pops. It's, a, oh, it's, yeah. a, it's a, one of those days. <laughs> uh, Rogar, and he turns uh, around, he, he grabs he Rogar by the shoulders. He's like, oh, Rogar, my no. lad, you look after my Luxin out there. You look after Billy. I think Lux he's Billy. Rogar has his hands Backs in away Rogar. very <laughs> slowly. <laughs> you, uh, Rogar has his hand in Herc's pocket. He's like, yeah, Herc, oh, I love you too. Uh, I love you too, Rogar. I'm so happy you, you don't spend all your time just standing in dark corners sounding strangely robotic anymore. Shit. Yeah, oh, get out of here. Run. <laughs> Turns and... Try to sneak away. Gets Gra one. <laughs> yeah, grabs Lockskin <laughs> by the, um... By the lapel. Lockskin, before you go, before you go, my boy, I know... I don't want to embarrass you anymore in front of my friend. Zara's pissing herself laughing behind the desk. Um... <laughs> Before you go, my boy, I just so wanted to... So is Gwyn. <laughs> yeah. I got, you... Pops? I got you this, and he holds out a um, a brown paper bag. It's a, it's a lunch in case you get hungry on your way out there. Um, no. There's, there's, no. Some, there's some ale in there in case you get thirsty. Um, no. uh, I got you. There's... Um, I know I know you don't you don't follow the path anymore, so um, I made you a tofu sandwich. There we go. And uh, looks around and is like, don't, don't tell anyone, but I got you a special tofu healing pie. Oh. Deception on that. How much of that's actually tofu? Come on. <laughs> I am going to make an insight check. <laughs> Nine. All right, let me just open up Herc's character sheet. <laughs> Fifteen. Don't lie to me, Herc. It's not tofu. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. It's tofu. Cool. Definitely tofu. I mean. Fucking warlock, man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's see if he can outdoor plus six. Yep. Yes. Yep. <laughs> that is, oh, this is a to, to be fair, fun. despite this having a very fun. high deception skill, as far as any of you learn, Herc has never lied once in his time at the take. So yeah. you, this you is go. A, this is a really nice gesture, gesture pops. Thanks. So oh, it's all right, Billy. You know I love you like a son, because you're my son. I I know. I, I had to make up my own name. <laughs> Some someday we'll find Billy. Yeah, w one of the Billys. I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of Billys. <laughs> Billy's dead. Oh, hold on, hold on. Who's Billy? He's a don't uh, worry. He, he's a friend of my second character who just apparently is dead or in a brothel. I ate him. And then he just le <laughs> then Herc just leaves and goes into the back of the building. <laughs> and he's gone. So did I find anything interesting on him with a 19 sleight of hand check? Um, let's just see if you got a broken wrist or not. Um, no. I pass... N <laughs> I pass uh, not passing out. Meat. Yeah, you put your hand into the meat pocket. Yeah, you, was like, you instantly um, regret many things. <laughs> let's see. I mean, you yeah, you would have found um, there was a there's a silver dagger in there. Uh, there it is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you just got your contingency plans. <laughs> and the bag of noms, which has owlbear prime cuts, beholder eye stalks, flaming dragon meat, dragon scales. <laughs> Uh, the last of another initiate that he ate, and some crab meat. Oh, be careful of that red, of that, like, red dragon meat. Flame dragon, uh, spicy. wants to make no that, that made the finish attack. <laughs> Rogar doesn't take anything, he just makes yeah. a note. It's <laughs> all, all in his sporin, because he wears a kilt. Uh, cool, and then with that you guys begin to head out. Zara's still laughing as you go. Lux and re <laughs> refixes his, uh, 
giant duster coat so it covers uh, the armor uh, that he gave him, which is his neon pink Hello Displacer Kitty plate mail. What? <laughs> <laughs> is, is a 20 enough to not pass out from laughing? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> probably. You're, there's some tears there, but... Okay, you guys head out. It's all uh, very manly. After that strange scene, Rimar, you see them, like, head out. The, the halfling mounts up on his giant flying seahorse. And you guys uh, take off. Quite literally. Milo, literally. <laughs> Thank you. So, so what is your plan for, uh, for finding the, these two? You haven't actually... You know, um, some of you, like, know vaguely the area of the uh, Vasselheim hinterlands that they that they stay like, but it's a it's a large swath of um of ground, you know. Right? Have I been to the area? No. Hold up, hold up. We've got to first off. We've got to go to the Sky Tower. Make sure Zoltan's airship's still there. <laughs> hey, we gonna be taking an airship? <laughs> I I I really don't worry. Don't care about the airship. Um, and you all stuff. missed that, so yeah, it, I'm but sure that's... it's fine. Uh, Gwyn, <laughs> if you look up, Zoltan's airship is docked. Um, you can see it on the tower in the distance. Fair enough. Um, Who remembers how to get to their camp where we have breakfast? I wasn't there for that one. <laughs> Either was I. Neither was I. Oh, wait. Um... <laughs> Let's see if that Milo the, remembers. <laughs> that was the weird little... That was the hag one, was it? The first hag finishing uh, one? It was the hag one, yeah. I mean, yeah, mm. you you know... Oh, yeah. it, it was like a temporary camp. Like, they were just camping there for that one mm. particular night. Um, but you know the kind of suave... It's one of those things. They, they move around a lot. So you know the direction they'll be in. And, like, they'll be within, like, this many, you know, hours march of... Vasselheim, but you will have to go out and try and hunt them down and search for them. I mean, Chatterbox sticks out like a sore thumb. So. He does, he does. We, but... we, can, we can start asking around, I guess. And... Well, that's the thing, he's not in Vasselheim. He's, they're in the woods. No, no, I mean, in, in a particular area, if we come across uh, anyone. Maybe. Yeah. Well, you, you know you won't find anyone in the wilderness. Like, it's it's a big expanse of, of you know, tundra. <laughs> of villages wilderness. and small towns that are often... Well, that is true. The, the, the recent expansion <laughs> efforts have been very successful. But, um, <laughs> no, no, fair enough. I want to say they're probably to the north, judging from the directions that they were heading from the last contract. Yeah, like you, you, you can assume that you know, like the general area. Like you have, like a, I'm just wondering. Once you get there, how do you? How would you find somebody? Like track them down in a big wilderness. Um, I have an ability. I can always remember the layout of a region's features and can usually find find it. Oh no, no, it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> we need a ranger. We don't have a ranger. We have we have a, a, a monkey. We have a ranger. Over. What are you talking about? <laughs> I was thinking about my the, the outlander feature. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, you can find. Um, you you've been to this area before. Do you spend a lot of time in the wilderness outside of um outside of Vasselheim? Mm, so I'd, so I'd know the area pretty well. Token. Yeah, if, if you know it. Yeah, you, you know the area pretty well. It's, um, you know, under something. quite uh, quite hilly. No. Um, mm. I was wondering where Gwyn Gwyneth went. Has Gwyneth just ran away? Did she delete her token? Where did she ran away? She away. goes somewhere to just, you know, stop there laughing. You, go. you exist again. Yeah. Um, you, you, it's, uh, it's quite woody. A lot of, like, uh, pine trees. Um and many like small valleys um it's it is actually quite a good place if you want to get lost it is a good place to go uh there's um several larger hills in the area um a couple of rivers run through it yeah you you, you know the layout of the area pretty well cool cool well we have a we have a monk on a flying heat seahorse who can do some aerial recall <laughs> yeah that would be That's ideal fine. Can't see, but yep. Oh, you can bloody see. Like, if, you can, if you don't insist on doing this, I swear to God, I'm going to give you 10 foot blind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be brilliant. All right. <laughs> That's literally all you're going to have. 
can't see has a perception of like nine. Um, you guys, I, I have a passive perception of thirteen. Oh, that's pretty well. Anyway, you guys head out. Uh, you you march for a time until you kind of find yourself in this part of the wilderness. It's um, yeah, just away from anywhere really. A lot of valleys, a lot of pine, like I talked about. Uh, you're you're probably in that uh, Vasselheim wilderness that surrounds the city. Um, yeah, and, and how do you go about finding finding your quarry, tracking down this uh, this dragon? Well, does, I don't know. You say we have two rangers. Are either of those two rangers particularly good on tracking? The thing about tracking is like you you need to. I, you do need to like fight, have like a source of tracks first of all. I'm I'm curious to like how you would search like a large area. I'm looking for creativity. Hmm. Well, I mean, that would be the first call. You, you try to find um, something. Is more what I meant. Okay. Me and Bloopy will go in the air. Yip yip. I I. Bloop, yeah. it's, it's 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 yip yip. He's not a kobold. <laughs> <laughs> no. So you you're gonna head up and try and use high ground to see what you can spot. Yeah. All right. And Yip Yip is actually from Avatar. So. Yip Yip. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So you and uh, Bloopy fly up in the air. You like go straight up. Um, everyone just watches this this weird seahorse fly into the air. Uh, and yeah, make a make a perception check for me. Oh, nice. Okay. He cleaned his goggles. Fine. All right. So you, you look around, you, you, you and this doesn't happen like immediately, you, you're probably flying above them for a while as you guys trek through these these thick woods, kind of keeping an ear out, because the, you know, the wilds around Vasselheim are very dangerous. And uh, eventually, <coughs> you notice kind of something out of place, because it's, um, well, it's, it's chilly, it's not been snowing recently, but you can see there appears to be sort of midway down a river that you can see. You can see that several of the trees are topped with snow. And uh, you obviously okay. remember that it, that uh, well, did this is a white half dragon. Sorry? Did Chatterbox have a sneezing fit? Well, you also remember he was traveling with oh. a man who could control, like, ice and snow. Oh, yeah, that's true, yeah. Artists. Yeah, that's true. I guess we follow the snow then? Yeah, I point it out, and I guess we follow. All right, so it's it's a, a mile or two away. So you you make your way through the uh for the hinterlands, and eventually, yeah, you you come to this spot, and all of a sudden it gets cold. Like you you basically, it's almost like you step over a doorway, and you go from like normal warm summer night, uh, I, well actually chilly. It's it's you're in a northerly climate, but you know, warm by Scottish standards. Uh, you, you step over this, but and you're just suddenly like walking into winter, walking into a fridge, and um, there's even a little bit of snow in the air, although you, it's not falling from anywhere high above you. It's almost like being in the upside down in Stranger Things, where there's always that little bit of ash in the air. It's the same kind of like just a little bit of snow in the air, and uh, you, you move forwards a little bit for the snow crunching underneath you, and eventually you find this isn't find good. Eventually, you find there's a um, a river that's been partially frozen. Oh, it looks like it was frozen over and thawed. Uh, it's just kind of down a little bit of an incline, and you see there's this river, and the riverbed is just covered in bodies, like around about twenty people dead. Um, uh, several of them, like yeah, just twenty people dead. Uh, most of them look like fighters of some variety. They've got like leather armor on and clubs and swords. And they're all like lying out dead around them. Uh, there's like a snow drift next to the river, um, quite uh, quite thick snow in the middle. Um, and then in the middle of that snow drift, you can see like a, a large pile of ice, um, like sharp hard ice. And standing in the middle of that sharp hard ice is a um, is a half dragon, um, or at least an ice sculpture of a half dragon, standing. Standing shield like an icy shield in one hand and a sword made of ice in the other, it looks like it was mid fight uh, that this ice sculpture was built in. So, so it's just in the shape, so we can't actually see if it is or isn't chatterbox. Yeah, you, I, I'm I'm telling you, if you were standing uh, a little little yeah. bit away. Okay, so, so um, is, it, is that on our side or the other side? Did you say? 
it's not a very big river. Uh, it's on the other side. There's a log sort of down crossing the river uh, nearby to it. Can I? I, over I go over. Yeah. I feel like we all go over. Um, yeah. Glowing probably a bit more yeah. hurried than the rest. Eyes open, everyone. All right. Everyone scampers over this log or like just hops over the river. It's, it's only um, so wide. All flies. Uh, there's a lot of bodies everywhere, uh, like I said. Um, looks like a lot of them, yeah, there's bodies scattered around you. Uh, there's a big, like, snow drift, and moving through the snow is quite difficult because it's so thick. And, yeah, it's um, it looks like Chatterbox to those of you who have seen them before. For those who haven't, it looks like a very, like, seven foot and a bit tall half dragon, you know, dragon features, wearing a breastplate, shield and sword. Um, only. He's been, like, frozen solid, or in fact, he looks like he's made out of ice. Like, just ice through and through. Now, the question is, do I try to thaw him, or is that going to be slightly problematic? Yeah. Uh, Anyone have any other ideas? Should we probably look around first? If he's actually made of ice, it's going to go well. Uh, maybe we... Investigate the area, I guess. That's a good idea. I wouldn't advise trying to fall him. It would do more damage than good. Is that awesome? Who's there? Uh, no, it's actually a woman's voice. And you sort of turn around and look off in the in the direction of the voice, and you can see some people coming out of the trees. Um, there's a sort of a group of like the uh, darkly dark dressed mercenary looking types. Um. I you what, sorry? Oh, look, it's the B team. I spin around fast and say, who are you? Name yourself. No need for, no need for aggression, friends. I am uh, Zindala. And yeah, this is half-elven woman comes out of the trees. She's, uh, she's pretty, uh, long blonde hair, uh, wearing a dark robe with um, kind of what you take for freckles at first, but I realize they're almost like little dragon's scales on her sort of cheeks and uh, around her neck is a pseudo dragon hmm. i told you he wasn't an issue hmm. um, can i do a medicine check on the ice um i think uh, it'd actually more be an arcana check for this uh, okay no i mean it's in like the well-being for the half dragon oh yeah you, you can look you can check the sculpture for any wounds yeah, I'm just trying to find out the best practice to unfreeze him. That, yeah, that well, that would that would be an arcana voice. check. Ah, uh, okay. But I'll, I'll check him just in case, like he's seriously wounded. Okay. Wow. Damn. Yeah. Cool. Wow. Um, he looks like he was he was fighting. Like there's um there's some like signs of like cuts on the sculpture, like um, like he had like a cut or two that when he was frozen like fixed themselves. Uh, but like, you know, he, he's not like on death's door. He just, um, mid, he was in the middle of a fight and had taken a blow or two. He goes, okay. And yeah, uh, Zendaya goes, is that you? Uh, what, what name did you give Zendala? Uh, Cerulean. Is that you, Cerulean? Uh, no, no, it, it, I didn't do this to him. That was, um, that was Artis. Hmm. Ooh. Cerulean, who's your uh, pretty friend here? A business acquaintance. Keep it in your pants. Uh, um, it's hard at times. <laughs> where is pants that? Pants aren't that big. I'm sorry, what was that? Where is Artis? Um, I'm afraid. Um, I don't actually know. I I came out here with my with my moth well my security can't move for the Vasselheim wilderness by yourselves. Um, found my father. Things got out of hand. And a fight broke out. And artists went a bit strange. The The ring took control Inside. of him. Your father? Yes. I'm Zendala Simber. Apparently. I want to inside check that shit. Okay. I want it as well. <laughs> Roger wants to like make some kind of I... to like 
Hang on, I'm, do, I'm doing insight on two sheets here, people. Please give me a second. <laughs> right, hang on. I'm gonna... Do I get anything from my insight check from her saying that she wasn't at the one that attacked the half-dragon? Uh, just a second. We'll get all the insight checks out of the way. So you're you're checking um, to see if she was, like, maybe actually the aggressor, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, and basically. the rest of you are checking, like, if it's a dead thing. Okay. So it's hard to tell if she was the aggressor or not. It looks like, you know, these are mercenary types. Things might have gotten out of hand. Um, yeah, you know, out in the wilderness, meetings with people don't tend to go so smoothly. Um... So, let's see. Uh, who was the 23? Milo was asked, uh, insight checking if she was lying about being Arthas's. Okay. Woman. Milo, you're the only one who isn't entirely convinced by that. Okay. Like, uh, I don't know, like, she could be Arthas's daughter. She's, she, she looks relatively young, like, um, early, early-ish 20s. And, you know, there's a certain, like, despite the fact she's a half-elf, there's a certain, and has the wrong colour hair, there's a certain, like, their they're similarity to them in their bearing. But, um, you're not entirely convinced. Um, but yeah, she, she's there and she... Uh, I mean... I don't know that Gwyneth believes it, but it was a quick 200 gold pieces. Yeah. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it goes, things got out of hand, and uh, Simber panicked. My, my father panicked, and he, the ring <laughs> took control, and he started blasting ice magic everywhere. And when when Chatterbox laid a hand on him to try and like calm him down, he grabbed his arm and froze him in place. Just like that. She shakes her head and goes, I didn't realize how strong the ring's hold over him had gotten. Hang on, thought, Does thought, it look like the dragon tried to touch anyone or grab anyone? Ah, uh, yeah. I thought the medicine check said he'd been hit a few times before that happened. There. Hmm. Yeah, there there was a scuffle. Yeah. And well, then, look around you. Yeah, you, and you can tell like okay. some of these bodies were not killed by ice magic. Some of them were cut down by like Chatterbox's sword. Hmm. And. I, Oh, sorry, Gwyneth, once more, what was the sort of name you gave? Uh, Cerulean. Yeah. Uh, Cerulean Alfred Pankratz Viscount Doletten Hope, right. if you want the whole thing. Oh, dear God, not another one. Oh, so, my God. Cerulean, I honestly did not want it to go this way. I, I should have hired the tape, but... And uh, there's a big half-orc next to where he goes... Uh, you can stop calling her Cerulean. That ain't her name. Billy? Wait, who's the one talking? Uh, this big half orc next to her. Oh. Can Rogar make some checks since he's in? The, he's a little bit worried about being too far north. He's like, <clears throat> he's like, it's starting to get. You're cold. you're not he actually that like... that far north. Like you're you're not near where the armies are currently like inactive. Okay. You're more of a northeasterly right, direction. Alright, then... Yeah, mm. you know those those skirmishes are happening quite a ways up to the north. Yeah. And, uh, he goes... He just wants to make sure it's not like a trap again. Yeah. God damn, I'm tired of traps. <laughs> it's always a trap. This is the take. What are you talking yeah. about? It's a tarp. Especially my contracts. I, I really do like traps. <laughs> um, how you doing over there, Gwyneth? Who? And uh, the, the big half orc kind of takes a little little step forwards, and goes. Now she decide our good friends in Dalla here decided not to hire the take for taking her out here. Went to uh, went to the professionals. Went to the clasp. She, he oh, waves. Oh shit! Oh yeah, I remember you. You left a few accounts back home. But that's not the business for I now. Honestly, I honestly thought I was rid of you guys when I was thrown through a fucking dimension gate. Uh, you know, once you're in the class, you're with us for life. 
Seems like some lives are going to be shorter than others today. <laughs> Takes so. Takes so. All right, well, come on. We have business to do. There's no need to, to bring up old stuff, mm-hmm. Dallas says. And she's like, look, if you want your your dragon friend released, you need to find my father. You need to find Artis. He, he ran off. Father. I'm sure of that. I don't think... No, no offense, old man, but your eyes maybe aren't as strong as they used to be. I see quite fine. It's uh, all in this perspective, you know. Any rate, if you can find Artis, whether he's my father or not, and bring me the ring, I can undo what's happened to your friend Dragonbait. Slash Chatterbox. (laughs) 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 I'm not sure that ring is something we want to be handing out to anyone. God damn it, Finch yeah, stays on us. <laughs> down dog, down dog, and she likes and Dallas pats her like little little dog at her side, which is actually a pseudo dragon. So the pseudo dragon starts barking like, it's all right. <laughs> oh, scratch that back. It's all right. It's all right. So... It's just. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Without context, that sounds really odd. Um... <laughs> Sorry, my girlfriend's playing with the dog. Oh, scratch that back. Um. So, cat with the so uh, yeah, that's the other theory that my girlfriend's actually my cat and speaks with a Scottish accent. Uh, so, uh, you want us to get this uh, ring back? Yes, if you can bring me the ring, I can undo this. It's quite. It's within the ring's power. But and, uh, the person who owns this ring, how do you want us to get our hands on it? Um, He's a friend to us. I mean, I, I hopefully you can render him unconscious and take it from him. Bring Why him back we... here, I can get him back to the city where he'll be safe. Why would we listen, attack bro. our own friend? Because well, uh, the, you the... see what happened? Apparently that dragon man was his friend as well. I do have faith in some of this on the speakers. Just... Oh, bugger some of the speakers. Damn it. I'll no offense, lady, room. but what's in it for you? <laughs> um, because if we bring... Sorry, I got... I didn't realize I had my speakers on. That's annoying. That will show up in my recording. Um... The um, oh my god, that pseudo dragon really has an opinion. Yeah, it's a very, very vocal pseudo dragon today. It's, it's very happy, it's actually having a nice day. The um, yes, the yes, well, the ring, unfortunately, that he's carrying, it's it's quite a, a powerful magical item with a will of its own. In moments of stress, it can, you know, well, you see. Indicates what's going on around her. It can take an effect. Yeah, so you yeah. want this for yourself or for someone else? I don't want artist to have it. He's had it for too long. I think it's a well. It's a corrupted him. He seemed fine enough with it last time I saw him. Well, I... what's to stop it from corrupting you? Well, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to make sure it goes somewhere safe. Shouldn't be out here. Okay. Heard that one plenty of times. Also, lady pulls out an arrow. He's like, very hard to be non-lethal with this. Just so you know. Very difficult. Don't, please, like. Well, maybe don't I'm just shoot saying, him. It's extremely hard. What do you expect <coughs> me to do? Use the yeah. blunt end? You, you have yeah, don't worry. Swords. When we find it, we'll have a talk. I, I can be very convincing. You know, maybe we could uh. Maybe sometime I could show you. Loxon, not now. <laughs> <sighs> she, oh, you're no fun, Gwyneth. <laughs> she eyes Loxon up and down. I mean, I mean, you know, when the business day is done and we've, we've got the ring somewhere secure, I'm going to be in Vasselheim for a little while. All right. <laughs> yeah, maybe swing by to take some time. <laughs> but now, uh, let, let's get back to business. Um, yeah, it's got to be done. Um, could you make a wisdom saving throw for me, um, Loxin? Wisdom saving throw. Yeah, oh, one I of I just those. pissed someone off. No. 18. Oh, fuck. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to get gassed or something, wasn't I? <laughs> no, it's fine. No, it's prob- it was probably friends. Mm, friends I looked around no. to see if I, know- if I could see who I pissed off. You didn't piss anyone off. You just felt like for a moment there, like you really did want to help her out, but you know, 
Pretty lass. It's good. Oh, Paladin, sweet. <laughs> the character sheet's just popped up. She's not that charming. Your character sheet just worked. <gasps> it's literally just hey. popped up. It's been it's loaded for the last <laughs> hour. Fucking <laughs> 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 oh, <God. laughs> Click the link. Make sure it works. Right, hang on. <laughs> It's literally just popped up, so I don't know if it's gonna uh... gonna work or not. <laughs> right, well, you're looking at that. Um, yeah, keep it's, going, keep going. <laughs> so, are you are you going to are you going to be able to help? Hmm. I'd rather help yeah. my friend here instead of you. Well, that this is how you're going to be able to help him. If you bring me the ring, I can undo this. She, she sounds confident in that. Like, yeah, that's definitely something. I'm I'm going to inside check her because I don't trust her. But she's so trustworthy. Hmm. She really isn't. Yeah, I mean, like, you, you believe that she believes she can do it. Yeah, I don't believe her guys. Oh. Today I'm being able to tell people quite well. <laughs> I woke up on the right side of the bed. I woke up on the left side. I'm surrounded by idiots and two cars. <laughs> I'm not stupid. Just come and not my first language. Hmm. You have a surprising grasp of idioms considering it is not your first language. I really it's my second. Her. Guys, can we just kill her? That's what Roker's like. Roker's like. You guys are. Uh... <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know what you're all so jumpy about. She seems lovely. She's lying through her teeth, Loxon. I thought. Well, that's hang on a minute. I thought, that's, yeah, I thought the insight check. You, yeah. yeah the, well, actually, your insight check there revealed that she 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 believes she can undo it. <clears throat> yeah, she believes yeah. it, but she keeps on lying to us. Yeah. Oh. She lies to us about the the father thing, which is why I heavily don't trust her. Well, you you you. <laughs> I, th I think the, the uh, result was that you weren't sure. Also, I did uh, divine <laughs> sense earlier. Any of them? Ah, yeah. Fae are undead. No, no, Sorry, no, no. Fiends are undeads here. Just uh, a bunch of men with clubs and the like. Cool. Still just as likely to beat your head in. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, the, the guys round. Um, there, there's these. Big sort of half orc next to her with a, a warhammer. Looks like a tough fella. Uh, there's another person keeping themselves a little quieter. Uh, you can't really tell what race they are because they've got a hood up, sort of keeping themselves. In. And then there's just like a a general you know group of toughs and thuggish looking sorts um, all around you. Hmm. Yeah, I she don't she know brought uh, she brought quantity instead of quality. You think? <laughs> Uh, I don't know why we're all so standing around here. We know what we need to go do. Just gotta get the pretty lady ring back and then everything will be good. It's not her ring, obviously. I don't, I don't see any reason she would lie to us. I also don't see how that changes. I mean, you need to get the... You need this poor person to be freed. You need my help with that. Have what you... Is? Have you been to the take before? No, I've never been to the take. I've never needed any monsters I... slayed. I've only been in Vasselheim about a month. Can I insight check that? Uh, <laughs> yes, yes you can. Just to basically make everyone realise that I can actually read her? Doing? Nope. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm just going to quick like click something and see if it works on the sheet. That's fine. Oh... You kicked like three things so far. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. She seems pretty convincing that she's never been to the take. Still don't trust her. Yeah, <laughs> still don't trust her. She passed the fiend or undead yeah. test. She's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's locks and standard. <laughs> You're not literally the epitome of evil. You must be all right. Yeah. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yep. 
Uh, yeah, she, she, she searches. No. It doesn't really matter if you trust me or not. You, I, I'm the only one who can help your friend over there. I'm not entirely sure that's true. <laughs> why, why would you be the only one who can do this? All right, let's just go get this ring because I really don't like the way that fuckhead's death glaring me. Which one? There's like eight of them death glaring you. <laughs> well, the orc that knows who I actually am. Yeah, I mean, he's not dead. Like, he just looks like cocky. Like, oh, I found something useful out. Like, this is good for me. I can go kill him if you want. Can you oh, though? Can you really? I mean, Try it, little man. I mean, I like to kill him. <laughs> you have no idea what that <laughs> is, I'm sure. Even if any of you have any, some kind of death wish, our mission here is to free this poor dragon man from the ass. And it seems we need this pretty lady's help here to do it. We are professionals, aren't we? I think I'm figuring out what uh, Loxin's flaw is. Um, just for your <laughs> RP, which is nice. <laughs> he, yep. he, I feel like he's literally the nega version of Gwyneth. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you know my backstory? He also came through that portal. Yeah, no one noticed. Because I'm super, super stealthy. <laughs> my disadvantage. Anyway, uh, yeah. That is fine, Arthurus. Regardless of what she says, I think Arthurus is still going to be where we have to go. We, at any rate, we need to find Artus. Yes. Uh, yes, I think we can all agree on that. He's he's already ran off from here once. I didn't want, and I, you know, couldn't stop him without hurting him. Maybe you will have more luck, but be careful. If the ring has taken control of it from the stories and the histories I've read, he'll he'll be he'll be a different man. This really <laughs> isn't worth two hundred gold pieces. Can you in give us some insight to this history that you've read? She, she like, you know, shakes her head and it's like, the ring is, it's very, very old. Um, and my father's had it a very, very long time. Um, it's, let's just say it's kept him around longer than he should be around for. And uh, it gives him power, control over ice, the ability to create things from ice to aid him. Um, I think he normally avoids using it, but he got... He panicked, he used it, and it, it took control of him. Is your name secretly Marceline? What? Mm, no. Hmm? That sounds like a vampire's name. From what I'm remembering, I'm just trying to think. He didn't seem the kind to panic. This is out of character. Um, no. I mean, like, he kind of almost jokingly acted like somebody who might panic. Yeah, but he was pretty. I seem to remember. But he, he definitely pretty... was an experienced. Um, yeah, you know, person, a guy yeah. used to being in trouble, you might say. Yeah, he didn't seem like the kind of that would uh, just suddenly, especially not to a group of thugs. In character. Does, okay, quickly, just a question. Does the ice on Chatterbox look like the ice that Artis has used in the past? Because his had like little sparkly blue shit through it. Um, well, I mean, it, ice looks course, like ice. It? Yeah. It's, it's not on Chatterbox, is it? It's, it he is. He ice is. He has probably. been like Otherwise, transmuted yeah. to ice. I could thought it maybe, but because he's actually made of ice. It, yeah, it, you you literally just melt him. Yeah, you think you would probably I mean, melt his arm off. <laughs> I mean, it, it would short the contract. Yeah. <laughs> not sure you'd get uh, paid. I mean, no. Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, we paid to uh, bring him back or to bring him back alive. I'm just, just curious. You paid to protect <laughs> him. Alive, preferably. <laughs> I'd like to ask her... Ah, damn, it's a save. Yeah, cool. <laughs> if... She was around to see why he was panicked. <clears throat> I, I guess I was, or I was nearby... I did it wrong. I I know that. I brought my men with me because it was dangerous out here. And when we found him, I was worried the ring might already have a, an effect on him. And they were they were asleep in their camp, so I thought we could grab them, get the ring off him before things got out of hand. I I so underestimated you him. him. So you started the problem. I handled things badly. I admit that. 
Hey, don't I should have tried talking lady. to him. Loxon, you Loxon. <laughs> She's under a lot of Seriously, pressure. Seriously, just just go back to your tabaxi, mate. We'll finish the contract without you. <laughs> I think perhaps you could do with hey, a different her stream. Into... Yes. Hmm? I think perhaps you could do with a little dip in the stream. <laughs> ah, I say I'm good. The rest of you seem to be all hot and bothered about summer. No, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm literally a fucking fire, Jesse. I mean, you uh, are, you, are you going to help me find my father or not? I've been uh, walking around in circles for a while go, here. We're going to go look for Artis. Whether or not we can find him and bring the ring back is a whole other kettle of fish. But we can try, my friends, can we not? I just want to hit something. Good. I, I, I want to hit these guys. Fucking plan, I want to hit something. All right, well... They're not exactly uh, trustworthy, considering they started the altercation and now they want the ring. Right. Listen, if at the end... They piss us off. We kill them afterwards. Uh, I mean, we could kill them now and save time. I mean, you guys are discussing this quite openly in front of them. I think you're kind yeah. of not getting yeah. the general idea of how this works. Well, it's the game. That's That's the idea. I'm coming on a contract. I came here to be a monster hunter, and uh, <laughs> These guys I'm very are comfortable the with all this talk of uh, killing people. Yes, These we'd rather you didn't kill us. That would that would be yeah. appreciated. See, you've got no say in the matter. <laughs> How about we just let's go just, let's find this other fella? Maybe let's uh, just get the on. other half of the story. Yeah, let's go find this other guy. He could probably fill in the gaps if you're uh, still doubting her for some reason. Can't we? Yeah, vote sure. On why it? not? Save time. Waste more time. <laughs> There's well, three for going to find Arthas. Milo is going yes. to look for Arthas. Okay, good, good. He he went upstream. Um, took us a minute to kind of realize what was going on. If you hurry that way, you might be able to catch up with him. We'll stay here and make sure that nothing damages the dragon. We'll stay here and set up an ambush. Thanks. They've right. already got Ruger one. Ruger starts walking away very, very <laughs> upset. Like stomping <laughs> away like fucking... Fucking gonna have My, <laughs> my going gonna try and skill and um, play on the water. Um, because level 9. <laughs> oh, so you can walk on water. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, one of them leans in and goes, "He must be a level nine monk. Be careful of that one." <laughs> <laughs> Suck my dick, bitch. Ah, right. right, you fellas, keep her safe. We'll be back soon. All right, you guys head off, leaving. Uh... I have your word that when we come back, we won't find this half dragon shattered. She she looks generally like offended, and it's like, Look, I oh, I have no ill will against this half dragon. It's not you I'm worried about. Oh, I will. I'll keep my men under check. They, if they do any damage to the dragon, they will be getting paid. That's a real fucking threat, there, Rogar. <laughs> Rogar is the classic yells, and he's like, start stomping off again. All right, so you guys start stomping off. Um. I'd make you roll survival or something, but to be honest, he's not proving very difficult to follow. Like, you head upstream, and every now and then you just come to, like, a spot where there's this kind of snow in the air again, and it's cold. Uh, you find, like, trees that have, like, effectively burst because the moisture in them has frozen too quickly. And um, they've, you know, cracked at the seams and shattered. And, yeah, you, you just keep finding these little pockets of, of winter in the middle of the hinterlands. Hmm. Interesting. But you, you've got some sort of time as you're hey. following them to discuss... Hey, you all seem a very untrusting lot. No, I just don't trust her. I, I'll be honest. I told her the half dragon wasn't an issue, and then I find him like that. What am I supposed to assume? What did you say? When did you meet her? Yeah, wh yeah you what's her history? What? <sighs> yeah. I, I heard about a daughter of Artis looking for information about him. I may or may not have divulged said information for 200 gold pieces. I mean, you, you clearly did. I mean, there's... <laughs> but, mm. sure, fine. Whatever helps you sleep. 
you give information yeah. about your friends to people that you don't understand? Hmm. It's more complicated than that. I I don't sell people out often. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay then. You're not making a good case for yourself here, Flower. I uh, I walk past. I uh, did it because I'm. A... No, I walked past you to pay off a rent on yeah, your shoulder. Does what? Sorry, just takes it. There's a lot of talking there. I, I I'm not sure who, um, who that is. The uh, Gwyneth. Who is? Yeah. Um, I walk past and like lightly barge your shoulder. Oh yeah, get the the, the passive aggressive shoulder bump. Now, just now, lightly. Don't be rude. Rogar, Rogar is just, walking just... next to Gwyneth, and he's like, "You don't need to explain yourself to me. I can understand doing bad things." He's like, I, "Okay, sees, okay." Sees the shoulder bump. He's like, just "Let me know when to shoot." Like not. <laughs> I. I needed the gold. It wasn't for me. Okay? Again, not exactly selling this here, but okay. <laughs> hey, lay, lay off, I guess. You don't know her situation. Neither do I. Well, I mean, it's that kind is. of relevant if she's selling people out. It's something that we would prefer to know. <sighs> I mean... Loxon is flirting with the enemy, so I don't know why we're judging each other. Hey, I'm, you... uh, I'm judging him as well, don't worry. Right. If you hung around me long enough, you realize that um, I just have this natural charisma that comes out around ladies. I'm sorry, it just happens. Just have a to sit on the women. horse and be quiet while we walk. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, you keep walking through the river, I'll just stay off my horse. It's nice and dry up here. Great. Loxon, awesome. do yep. you have a feral weakness to women? Oh, ah, I won't call it a weakness. I would. So I, I think <laughs> I of him more of a, I think of him more of a strength, really. Yeah. Surely his father's son. Um, <laughs> 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 you um. By the way, in this stage, you're actually walking on like a frozen river. Like the river has been completely frozen solid. Uh, it looks like he was following the river along and it was freezing everything as he went. Hmm. I can... This guy's magic is very strong. <laughs> I think it's... Uh, I think it's the ring. It's the ring. He's not a... Uh, much of a... magic user. Because Milo is a halfling, I'm going to say it this once. I'm going on an adventure! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Bilbo. It only took you nine <laughs> levels. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody have a passive perception better than 19? No! Jesus! <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright. 11. Yeah. He rolled pretty well. Christ. So... Oh, I don't know how to math. Um, as you're walking along this... Uh, this thing... Suddenly, from the ice... A... 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 a Keep yourselves in kind of the same area. Don't just start bounding around the map trying to position counting. Uh, from the ice, no, I, I was a huge hand appears, a hand made entirely of solid ice, and it wraps around a leaf and begins hey. to go. Well, at least I didn't throw a punch because uh, that would have been really bad. <sighs> Uh, just checking. Well, the hand is grappling. So yeah, this uh, this hand wraps around Aleve. Aleve, could you make a? Sorry, spell I don't use very often. Attempts to <laughs> grapple the creature. Okay, could you make a um, athletics check for me, Aleve? Okay, well, that's plus zero. Yep. I think, yeah. All right, let's um, see what my plus eight does. Eight. <laughs> okay, uh, I think I win. Uh, so I'm just, I need to see how far this thing can move. Only in regards of math. Math. 
<laughs> just, just quickly, guys, is there anywhere I can get rid of these like character profile pictures that are like in the middle of the map? Uh, oh yeah, under settings, if you look, it's the um, player avatar. So if you go into settings and look for where it says player avatar size, and just put names only, and that will get rid of the the, the, the list along doing along the bottom. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. Sorry, I was just not not able to see anything. There you yeah, go. Yeah, so. yeah, that will that will help. <laughs> Being able to see uh, it is also useful. my horse appears to have gotten stuck somewhere along the river. You might be able to drag it in yourself if you want. Uh, if you check the thing. Oh, is it? I think I set it to you. Yeah. So yeah, this. Yay! Yeah. So this. Yeah, this big uh, hand appears, uh, grabs a leaf. And yeah, just wraps itself around you. And when you look up, you can see this man um, sort of <laughs> standing. He, uh, at the edge of this cliff. So the cliff's about 40 foot up, this uh, cold cliff. And you're sort of walking along this frozen riverbed. And he, he sees you guys all down there. Kind of stares at you. And you can see his eyes are glowing like an icy blue. The hand wraps her leave, and he just steps backwards, out of sight. I need everyone to roll initiative. Mm. Uh, so the seahorse go on my turn. Uh, it will need its own initiative. Uh, okay, I'll open that sheet as well then. Uh, could you put me on top of the horse, layer-wise, <laughs> please? Sure thing. Uh, Hang on, I've got all the sheets to deal with now. Thank you, kindly. Ah, you've done your own. I'm guessing the sheet. Of course works. I have. Yeah, I'm just making sure the sheet actually works, so I can close your sheet now. Yeah, of um, the way it's set up is you've the, you've done the macros for initiative, ability checks, great axe, hand axe, and all that stuff. Yeah. Just can't find the rage one, so. Uh, the rage one. I've done a checkbox in the character sheet. How have you? Yeah, yeah. I, w I wouldn't worry too much about it. Like we all know how to add plus two to a attack as well. So if you if you if <laughs> if it's a too much of trouble, just just don't worry too much about it. Okay then. Okay, but you are aware that my rage also does one d six damage to one creature within ten feet from me, right? Oh, you've got the. Um, That's yeah. Uh, sheet. Which one is it? Storm Herald. Is that what? That's one from Xanathar's gem. Yeah. Are you a Storm Herald thingy? I don't actually know. The Storm Herald's probably the one I'm weakest on, knowledge-wise. So just remind me when Pretty it's your turn around. All right, so yeah, Rogar, you um, you see this hand wrap around a leaf, and uh, yeah, he's like stuck in this this big ice hand, effectively. And then from the bank behind you and the bank in front of you, um, creatures made entirely of ice, um, a large like ice saber tooth tiger and a huge ice boar appear I can see why he grappled Olive <laughs> <laughs> I mean I'm, I'm fine up here like, <laughs> he looked at the guy made entirely fire as his ice creatures are coming he was like nah fuck that <laughs> I mean I'm, I'm fine here I mean <laughs> I can still cut spells do I see the guy yeah. up on the ridge uh, no, because he's just stepped back, and it's 40 foot up, so like he just disappears yeah. beyond the lip of the ridge. Uh, Gwen, if you take the one in the back, I got the one. Uh, I'm going to Hunter's Mark the front beast. I think you said that was the saber tooth. Yeah, the one behind you is a saber tooth tiger. Like, it looks oh, like the one a... behind? Yeah. The one in front of you is uh, like a huge icy boar. I should yeah, open the All right, so yeah, you see this big like ice boar. It like snorts in your direction, and you're gonna start blasting it. Blast them. Yeah. With hunters. Oh, I've missed this. Two. <laughs> yeah, right. Me too. Is it a fifteen hit? Uh, I think it probably does. They're not. Yeah, fifteen hits. Oh, that's a bad one. <laughs> Oh, and this one gets an extra D eight. 
Let me count it up for you. So, 15, <laughs> 26, uh, 27, 38, 38 plus 48. 48 points of damage. It's a shame they're immune to piercing damage all of a sudden. Yeah. What? <laughs> Even magical piercing damage? Especially magical piercing damage. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Normal piercing damage is actually okay. Yeah, Just normal yeah. normal's fine. Damn, it's it's rogars. <laughs> they're invulnerable to rogar. Uh yeah, the, the, the like a bunch of arrows smash into this boar one after the other and it just shatters into pieces. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got your friends. Uh, yeah. Any, uh, Milo, it's your go. This boar just explodes. <sighs> Arrows piercing right oh, yeah, through Rogar it. Rogar has um, forty feet of movement, so he's gonna move. But um, so I can't control the seahorse, can I? Yeah, you're on it. So basically, its movement speed is your. If you if you're currently mounted on it, basically its movement speed yeah. is your movement speed. Uh, but it doesn't get its own turn. Okay, so just do you want to delete that then until I dismount? I mean, it's it's just after, so it's fine. We'll leave it as it is. Okay. Um, forty foot, I can get on there. Maybe. Um, well, remember it's forty foot straight up. Yeah, I fly in a diagonal. All right. Well, then you wouldn't be at the top. Then. Yeah, you'd probably. Be I feel. I feel we, we we won't do it in the islands. You you'd fly twenty foot over and then you fly twenty foot up. <clears throat> Just to keep things simple. Uh, okay. So I you can either know. fly forty foot straight up and get above the lip, or you can I'll fly over. Well I was going back. Okay, I'll readjust. Stop. Just be there. <laughs> so there. Okay. It'll be my next turn that I get that high, then. Okay, I mean, you can dash if you want. Like, same oh, as Oh, yeah, that is a thing. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can do your, like, step of the wind dash because your horse doesn't have key points, but... Well, true. <laughs> but talking <laughs> about that? key points, I will dodge as a bonus action. All right, so, yeah, uh... you, you <laughs> spur on I'd your... You spur on your mighty steed... It, it comes up over the edge and appears there. And you can see Artis just sort of standing there, like his hand on his knife, watching you with these pale blue eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Some fancy flying. All right. Uh, Ramir? Um, yeah, are there any of those ice animals left next to me? Because I can't quite see. Not not next to you, no. But Well, there's a big ice hand around a leaf, um, but it looks pretty sturdy. There is an ice tiger behind you. Um fair wee ways. How far behind me? And I might need to zoom out to see that one second. Uh, he's 60 foot behind you. Oh, damn it. Alright, okay. So, I'm going to... I'm going to rage and attack the hand. Alright. Uh, you start screaming and hacking at this hand that Aleve's attached to. Probably scares um, the shit out of him. And I also target the hand with... Um, my aura, because it's within 10 feet of me. <laughs> um, okay. Not quite um, click. That does four fire damage. Alright, it doesn't like the fire damage, that's clear. <laughs> and I will attack it with the um, Great Axe. So do you just hit something, like, with a d6 of damage every turn? It's, yeah, basically. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, and you got a button you can press. I've, I've pinged it up for you. So you Wait, know. no, is it, is it d6 or is it 2 there? Uh, oh. Yeah, that's more than I remember two, being as well. Okay. Take 2. It's take so 2, I... dude, but the other one is a d6. Oh, uh, is it? Alright, yes. I've, I've got confused between them then. All right, so uh, that great axe swing like bounces off this uh, this heavy hand. Uh, it's quite ah. firm from all the ice. Right. Okay. I think that's all I can do for now. I've, I haven't got two attacks for a while yet, so. Yeah. <laughs> Work towards it. Uh, this ice 
Sabretooth Tiger bounds forwards, ba-dum, 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 leaps at uh, locks in, <coughs> yeah. and is going to try and give you a jolly good clawing, sir. Oh, jolly good. <laughs> jolly good clawing. Uh, but I'm guessing 11 misses. Yeah. So yeah, swings at you with its uh, its sharp claws, but can't seem to hit you, and like comes down and, like. Gr- and so it doesn't even growl because it's made of ice. It just makes like this strange like sound, like stepping on ice, like that cracking noise. Hmm. Uh, Gwyneth. Question: Can the ice sculpture thing see? Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's clearly acting independently, so it, it must be able to see. I just wanted to double check. Um, I am going to attempt to shoot at the tiger. All right. I don't uh, think that hits. Yeah, you miss. Um. Yeah. I'm going to move up to here and grant advantage on the kitty for right. person. But you grant kitty because, advantage because Loxon likes women so much. I just have a vision for some reason of when if flashing Loxon to give him advantage. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that, that would definitely be disadvantage. He'd be way yeah. Very distracting. Very inappropriate workplace yeah. etiquette. Um, right, uh, locks in. There's an angry uh, ice kitty. A uh, uh, quick question about fine steed. I'm yeah. not sure how uh, uh, Lucian uses it. Is it meant to be just on my turn? It's, it counts as a mount until you dismount, I think, is where he plays it, and then it wrote, he has separate initiative for it. Yeah. Okay. So that's how he's been doing it, as far as I know. Right, yes. cool. I, just, I just want to keep it consistent with how, with how he's doing it. Uh, Alright, so it's just... For now, it's just movement speed, unless I get off. Unless you get <laughs> off... Well, basically, you can just give up control of it. Okay. So if you give up yeah, control uh, of it, like you won't be able to like move around with its speed, but you can attack from its back and it will do its own thing as well. I normally t- don't like I give more control over greater steeds because they're more intelligent. Cool. If it was just a normal war horse it would probably just like do its own thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll guess I'll do that. Let the horse do its thing. Alright. Roll initiative for it. And... Whoop. And we'll go on Do-do-do-do. next turn rotation. Oh. And I am going to take some uh, we can actually attack the hand, can we? If you want to, yeah. It looks pretty sturdy, but uh, you can attack it. I mean, they uh, really wouldn't bother, quite frankly. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll <laughs> take out the thing that's fighting. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I'm going to just do two swipes. Oop. Yep, that hits. That uh, They both hit. Four, nice. 14 and 10, 24 damage. Uh, first time using extra attack. <laughs> Feels good, man. Yeah, you, you strike it it's twice, shaming. large cracks come off its uh, its form, it makes it a like, angry, sort of cracking ice noise. Oh, and then bonus action, I'm going to cast... Do-do-do, where is it? Uh, Shield of Fate, Ecta Guard. Okay. And I can do it on <laughs> myself, and it also affects the war horse as well. So I both gain two AC. Awesome. Remigurd, Ectigurd. So, artists just go. Uh, you are, yeah, there you are. So artist kind of sees you float up over the edge on your your horse. I will also dismount. And like tilts his head and eyes with his like cold icy eyes. Um. So sort of considers his options for a minute. I mean, he can still. Do this. Yeah. Oh, what? It's gonna not play so. Uh, yeah, Artist, like, just casually, like, forms a ball of ice in his hand, <laughs> chucks it behind you, uh, Milo, and. Doof. 
Uh... No idea how much I want that on other on so many other characters. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a sixty foot radius sphere. So he throws it behind you, but it goes oh. down far enough that it hits everyone. Me. Hmm. Okay. Alright, that's good. Uh, constitution save. So, um, certain dodgy abilities won't be as effective as normal. What, uh, 12? Saving throws. Yes. They should be near your skills. Sorry. Uh, also, yeah. if you click your token and yes. click the pink writing on constitution... That's true, point. yeah. So, um, you click the token. Yeah. And then see where it says DC 15 constitution saving throw? If you just click the constitution word, it should uh, roll it. Is it... Does it uh, double click or a, what, or a just right, right click? click it once, it should just pop. No, I'll just have to go, go into the... <laughs> have a look for the sheet. <laughs> That's weird. I'm sorry, I really am. I, I can just do it now if you want. <clears throat> yeah, could you? Yeah. So we, Oh, I, and then I'll, I'll, I'll find it for next I, time. I rolled a 24 for you, so, you know. Oh, fuck. Brilliant. Um, I'm um, what this does. Oh. Milo, one of the <laughs> things that would be affected by this spell is your horse. I've already did it, and it got an 8. All right. Uh, your, 12. <laughs> your horse freezes underneath you and dies. Bloopy, no. And plummets down to the ground. You plummeting with it. Matt give us, Matt take us away. <laughs> <laughs> um, I take 30 damage because of fail. And Equinox is also after uh, puffing out. And because I'm falling, I take no damage. Yeah. As this happens, the ice hand raises up 30 feet. Olive, we still can't see your hit, hit points. Really? I... <laughs> oh, it's because it's, no, it's, it's the earlier token. I changed it at the start of the... But as I signed in, so Matt had this up from before, that'll be why. <laughs> Actually, the... what, what's, his dex, what's his dex mod? Is his dex mod greater than a three? Who's dex mod? Hmm? Who's dex mod? Uh, the artist, artist cause my de we we're on the same turn initiative. I've got a higher... If I've got higher dex, we will never gone first. Oh, uh, his is... This is a two, but it's it's actually GM gets to decide which order they go in. No, oh, I thought we always did it. So we normally do, yeah. I I honestly did not notice <laughs> that, and I didn't know you had a one. If you brought it up at the time, but I, I'm not, I can't recall that like that uh, all turn. I mean, I have I, I haven't had a chance, and if I just I'm about to get pounded into nothing because oh. you you, you can you can take out. your action now as the uh, as the hand starts to raise. Okay, well, this is literally what I was gonna do, which was. Boop. <laughs> yeah, you, you pop off. out of it. Out of the hand. <laughs> Chus is about to start crunching you. <laughs> and just stand over here. <laughs> Alright, so the hand would do something else then. So it starts to raise you, poof, out. Zoop. So the hand instead floats down and tries to punch uh, Loxen. Oh, lovely. Uh, Ali, do you want to do anything else on your turn? Uh, I'd have just lobbed like a fireball at the tiger, so... Okay. Uh. Like, fuck you, locks in. Gives you a punch. Jesus. Mm. Uh, I think that's a pretty good punch. Oh, ponch. yeah, really fuck me. <laughs> what, what's this? You give stuff and take it away. So you give him life, and now you're taking it? Extra 30. <laughs> yeah, right, just... I'm down to 11. 30 <laughs> followed by 30. Jesus Christ. Mm. Uh, Alif, you wanted to take a pot shot at the, uh, the delightful tiger? You did it for... Uh, oh, yeah, I... I... I clicked it. Three. It was 22 for 3 damage. 3 fire damage. Good roll. Good roll, guys. Right. We're all doing the great. Boss. Nothing oh, to actually, worry hang about on. so far. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I just realised, um, because it's on 2d10 now, so that's really bad. Uh, I will use my empowered spell, sort 3 point, and re-roll. Okay. If that's alright, so yeah, re-roll 2d10. Sorcerer. No. That's slightly better. Slightly <laughs> it's better. It's eight, 8 fire damage. Mm -hmm. instead of it really doesn't like fire, so like... Um, every little helps there. You can see it's pretty, pretty burnt up that tiger. Good. Right, yeah. Just letting everyone know, um, I've got a bit of a freeze, so it's just re recovering from it now, and it's be fine in a second. <laughs> cool. Sorry. You, you took fifteen damage on your turn. I'm just taking that off your sheet right now. Boop. 
Oh god, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that I've got it's okay. To, uh... I, I, for next game, try and have installed uh, uh, Firefox because I do find that works better. It might help out a little okay, bit. Okay then. All right. And I'll All swap right. a leave an artist around. Uh, Rogar, it's your go. There was an ice explosion, and you feel very <laughs> cold. And you can't see the guy who did it, unfortunately. But you do know Bloopy the Seahorse has fallen heroically in battle. You're muted, Chris. Please. We've not heard anything from you yet, Rogar. <laughs> Now, now you're like flashing green, but I'm not hearing words. Now you're a very far away robot. Really? I can well, hear I can it. Perfect. All right, that's fine. I'll I'll rejoin then. Boop, boop. All right, now try again, Chris. Hello. 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 Am I Hello. lost now? It's me. No, I cannot hear okay. DM. No. Oh, <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Hey. There we go. Cool. Hello, hello. Cool. Right, and now I think I can. Bonus action. All right. Bonus, bonus action. action. Hunter's mark. Hunter's Move mark who? To the hand. All right. You hunter's mark the hand. And I'm gonna. Sh okay. Nineteen. Nineteen. Ah, that, uh, that misses. Serious? Yep. Is the hand seven? That hits. 14 damage. Okay. And then I'm gonna move. Alright, you do that. Milo, you you stand abo above the frozen body of Bloopy. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> a tiny was... tear forms and crystallizes on your face. Exactly. He killed, <laughs> he killed my favorite. Okay, my only ever pet. The reason why only paladins use mounts. <laughs> <laughs> it saved me having to dash up the wall. Wait a minute, didn't would you floated up to the top, wouldn't you have then fallen back down to the bottom? I was above the bridge, so I mean you, you were above the cliff. I think you could make a well, this would be fine if you could share a mount, but you have to make a dexterity saving throw to see if you could have jumped off and actually landed onto the cliff face. I, I, from where you were standing, I, th I would have thought you'd have fallen and like slid down the... I thought you'd have got all the way to the bottom. I mean, I can dash and get here. Well, no, no. I can now run, I what can I was run saying was, you should be like, here. You should have gone, ah, and fell all the way to the bottom. I would have taken no damage, and then I would dash and get to where I was. Oh, okay, that's fine. If that's the way we're doing it. But... I don't mind. I was going to say, like, you were... He was... Did, did you roll a deck save there? It's fine. Yeah, you can I say rolled. you leaped from the horse and landed on the the grass on this snow. Like you <laughs> landed in the snow, and yeah, you can see artists standing before you, cold like blue eyes watching you. I would say to him, Artis, this is not the way you normally act. I will walk up to him and fuck his shit up for killing my <laughs> Not the way you normally act, my friend. <laughs> Punch and dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not ogres. I'm not going to punch them in the dick. <clears throat> it was a Baylor. No, no, I've done it to ogres too. Many creatures. <clears throat> really? Yep. <laughs> war, a war chief became um, a ping pong table for me. Quite literally. Oh. Mace to the face. Uh, 16 hits. Cool. I'm going to pump that with a stunning strike. Okay. okay. Oh, he's stunned. Oof. Cool. And now, I think I get advantage. Yeah. Is that he's how stunned. stunning works? Oh, yeah, I think so. It's just advantage. It's not an automatic anything. Yeah, that's fine. I need the advantage as much as I can take it. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. I don't need that advantage. <laughs> Crack. Um, and now I'm going to... Work those knees with your mace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to spend an extra key point just so I can 
knock some sense into the guy. <laughs> uh, hit for 10. Fucking wailing on the guy. Uh, 12 misses. Actually, 21. Uh, yeah, 21. hit. So another 20. Yeah, you, you bash him across both knees. He falls um, sort of to what? To his. To, well, to his now sore knees. You crack him twice, like once across the jaw, once in the shoulder. Uh, you, it looks like you gave him a pretty sound thrashing. And I'll move away. <laughs> then you like, <laughs> run away. Cool. You killed my damn seahorse. <laughs> I know. Poor dead seahorse. <laughs> uh, Ramir. Right, uh, yes. One second, I'm, uh... Again, I'm still, I'm still going black, so I've changed over to my phone so I can press some buttons so this works. <laughs> if it comes through. Does he need to con check on the ice hand as well? No, he doesn't. No, okay. Fair enough. That's fine. Um, basically, same as same as before, exactly, but to the um, to the nearly dead um, thingy, you know, the the tiger thing. Yeah. All right, you run up to that. Yes, I do. Mighty weapon. God. <laughs> My, what's going on? But, uh, yeah, my weapon. There we are. Oh, that hasn't gone through. Do you need someone, one of us to open your character sheet up again? No, I think I've got it. It's just it's not clicking on, the, want, on, on the phone. What did you want clicking? Just the axe, um, great axe. Yeah. Okay. Roll 20 doesn't normally run on phones. I know that. Like, it's... Uh, the great axe hits. Uh, yeah. Uh, what are you attacking, sorry? I'll move you as well. Uh, the, the tiger. tiger. Uh, okay. That would have uh, plus two for rage as well. No. Okay. Uh, if you want to attack the tiger, he might have to like uh, get an attack like... from the hand. Uh, the hand doesn't get attacks opportunity. Okay. Um, I'll click the button as well for rage, so it's six damage. Cool. Yep, yeah, that's taken off. And then I'm you going to give it a wee fire blast as well? Yeah. Uh, yes, as always, it's just the two damage for that. All right, yeah. so it doesn't like that. Yeah, you can see that the tiger is like very nearly out. Um, like, it's it's half mostly melted, mostly shattered. It's losing its physical form. Very nearly goes down, but um, just man hang. If you rolled a little bit on the damage, you'd have gotten it, you think. And uh, while that happens, it tries to claw Luskin or Loxum. Twenty for oh, nine. Remember your own. Uh, nope, because I still have Shield of Faith. Damn. Alright, uh, misses you. If you're ridiculous AC. It's like, oh, 20, that's good. Not in the Slayer's take, it's not. Did uh, you... Gwyneth. Did you make a con check after it punched you for that critical? I did... Oh, wait, no, yeah, no, no you're right. I did one for the you did, like, ball, but points. not the other one. Yeah, you did like 30 points of damage when it punched you. Right. <laughs> it's still fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Alright, Gwyneth. Uh, there is a cliff there, Gwyneth. Like... Uh, fine. Go back. I'll double dash to get up here. And... No, you... it's the 40 foot cliff. <laughs> How is it a 40 foot cliff? You... How... Okay, if. Because those exist if that's the in the case, world. I... How come Alv was just able to like trot he up at teleported? Them? I missed. I missed his steps <laughs> from a hand that was lifting him into the air. <laughs> Magic, motherfuckers! All right, then. Um... You can try and climb it. It will half your movement speed. Or you just pew, fuck you all. Run that way. <laughs> just leave. And... Yeah. Alright, you run across the field. <laughs> Fast little Naruto legs going. Oh, uh, arms behind his back. <laughs> ah, mm, yeah. <laughs> mm, that, that was... Mm. Yeah, I touched myself. When I think about you. <laughs> and so that's my action, and then bonus action. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah. 
All I right. uh, very hesitantly shoved it. Probably meat pie. No, it's not. Oh, I got a vegan one. Yeah, yeah. tastes like, oh, tastes like no. tofu. According to yeah, according to her. According to her. Oh wait, do I have two pies then? Yeah, you had. You got, you got a special oh, one from her. Sweet. James, James, remember you got a ward pie, by the way. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah, so I do, don't I? It lasts for eight hours, so and it's a bonus action yeah. to eat. So if you ever want to eat it, just oh, yeah, eat. Well, you might as well. I'm gonna just yeah. move to here. At least when my time comes around. Yeah. I can see her telling you, but I was like, you know what? It should be a learning experience. Uh, <laughs> when he gets knocked out by 30 points of cold damage. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Um, I leave. Cool. So, so right, I'm up a 40 foot clip, so can I see what's his chops on the other you side? You can see Artis uh, sort of down on one knee holding his, his like pained head. Okay, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not going to do anything with him to interfere with him yet. I'm going to firebolt the tiger again. All right. Aha. No, that's gonna miss. Uh, might hit actually. The tiger's. Oh, really? I mean, it's not wearing like armor. Yeah, that hits and uh, destroys it. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> cool. Like, you hit it. Like it melts through. It loses structural integrity. Just crumbles and falls apart. Uh, I cram a pie in my face and run away. <laughs> Artist is go. Yeah. He, uh... no, it's not. He's incapacitated, oh. by the way. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's stunned. Until my next turn. Yeah, I know. You knocked him about so hard. Yeah. That. Oh, oh my head! The fuck! Oh, I actually knocked sense into him. You you knocked uh, you knocked some sense into him. Also, I'm going to rename that strike now. <laughs> ah, what the? Uh, he, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> right. Oh, he's, he's, like, hold, appeared. he's holding his head like yeah. I, I want to give him a less evil looking uh, outline. <laughs> that's, that's cool. That's cool. Like he's going, oh, <laughs> oh, oh my, fuck me! What? And he, he like you know if you give him a couple of seconds, unless anyone like just appears and puts like three arrows in him, suddenly he drops what? dead. What? No, it's it's not like my turn. Ah, yeah, I mean Milo, Milo would be. Ah, uh, Rogar is your turn next, yeah. So like, if you come around, you can see like artist is there, like stunned, holding 30. his head. Ah. He's Milo there. Holds his hand out and basically motion to stop. I'm gonna hold an action. <laughs> okay. If so, he does any, if he does any evil shit, I'm gonna shoot him. Put some arrows. So a couple of seconds go by. He like straightens up again and goes, "Oh, Milo, ow." When did you start hitting people with maces? That really hurts. Um, Where am I? Ow. You're in the uh, Vesper Tim. Is it the uh, Vesper Timberlands or is it just the Wastelands? Or the, the Hinterlands, yeah. Ah, yeah, we're in the Hinterlands. Um, you're and I do the the fingers for the the speech Max. Daughter, um, was trying to convince us to come and take the ring. Gwyneth. No, not Gwyneth. Nah, I'm only fucking with you. Um, wait. <laughs> but I mean, everyone can kind of make their way up if, if they want now. He's like, I remember. The hand? Uh, what about the hand? Uh, yeah, can you dismiss the hand? It kind of nearly killed one of us. Oh, yeah, and he moves I'm his fine. hand. I'm fine, I'm fine. And just falls to the ground like clonk. I don't need to talk about you. Oh, shit, yes. <laughs> it's like... Oh. Ogre keeps the bow out. Yeah. <laughs> He, he, he so, uh, if you want to get the ring off this guy, you should probably take that thing off. No, we're not taking it off him. It's his. No, <laughs> but maybe just not wear it, isn't it? Kind of making his man go all fuzzy. No, it, I mean, it did. It, I, we got attacked. We were camping. Some, some men jumped us, and there, were, there yes, was a lot of them. I, I had to use the ring to try and defend us, and I think things got out yeah, of hand. Yeah, she told us. And now she wants us to stop you, in a sense. When I mean, you, uh, I, I feel pretty stopped. A, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here. Everything's fine. You left a bit of a, uh, a chatterbox obstacle at, uh, yes. at the campsite. Ch chatterbox is ice. Wait, what? He is he's like, ice. He's like you, an ice statue. You can see he's, he's very, like, concerned. <laughs> like, just... Look, a real worry comes over this man's face. And for those who haven't seen him before, he's like um, in his early 30s, quite sort of a handsome guy, quite tall, dressed in sort of leathers. Um, 
has this ring on his hand. His hand's like covered in like a little bit of sheen of ice at the moment from using the magic. Uh, but his eyes are no longer glowing blue, and he's like, "Oh, God, I, I didn't mean to. Everything happened so fast. I, I'd only just woken up. I'm not, I'm not good in the mornings. I, if I turned him to ice, he is completely ice. Shit, oh shit. Calm down, calm down. We can resolve this. But we can. If I, I can turn him back." This Good. might not be the first time I've turned someone to ice. Understandable. That ring seems mightily powerful from what I've seen recently. It, it's a bugger. It's one of the reasons I spend so much time with, with Chatterbox. Um, he can't be really hurt so much by frost and cold because of his heritage. And being around yeah. him, I don't know, it, it helps me fight the thing. It keeps me calm. I have a lot less bad days when he's around. Have you tried Aww. maybe telling him that he should be resistant to us? I don't think he's quite knows that right now. Um, I mean, I've never turned him to ice before. I don't think it's the same. Like, I've I've blasted him with cones of cold before, and he took that like a champ. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want to know about what kind of relationship you two have. It's starting to get who, a bit weird. Who is the strange man with the strange hat who seems to be inferring that I have sex with my completely like there's nothing wrong with that kind of thing but that's not what we do i'm just saying you lack you got the kind of pain thing going on there i just don't want to miss a thing for women Uh, and this is he's different i'm a very man man, but i'm just not just nope hang on so are we all on the cliff now yeah everyone everyone's up on the cliff okay i was i was not speaking because i thought we wasn't there (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you you all made your way up there pretty quick once the fight was over. I didn't. Right, okay. I'm just sitting here regretting spending my 20 points of play on hands. Yeah, I thought you might. <laughs> 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 Fuck. <laughs> Alright. So, first of all, no, I don't have sex with a half-dragon. Angry <laughs> eyes locks in. I never um, said anything like that. You should. They're fun. The, wo- the woman <laughs> claiming to be your daughter seems very half dragon ish. My, my daughter? Yes, apparently you you have a daughter. A, no, a, he does half this thing where he covered in dragon <laughs> skills. He does this thing where he looks like I don't. And then he looks. Well, I don't think. <laughs> and then he looks like. <laughs> oh, meh. I me most sure. likely do not. Have a daughter that I know about. Well, apparently she come to find you and take the ring off you. That is something that does happen from time to time. There's a lot of people who covet the ring. Uh, some some pretty bad ones. Um, one of the reasons I keep myself out of sight. I'm Sorry? gonna inside check in for. Tr- yeah, sure. Um. From from insight. Oh wait, no. I I don't need to press insight. I need to press deception. Yeah, insight yourself, please. Thank you. Oh, um, you're you're pretty confident that he's telling the truth. Like he's he's kind of letting a lot through right now, because he's a little upset. Okay. Um, you think this has happened to him a great deal? People coming to try and take the ring. Um, I understand. It's maybe also part of the reason why he keeps the ring is because he knows the kind of people who come and try and who want it, and he thinks it's better off with way, him. You owe me a new seahorse. So, oh, so what fuck. you're saying, mate, is we should just kill her? Uh I mean, we. I, that seems I'm very not hard. entirely convinced she's not my. D- I mean, there's been a cut. You said half elf. I do quite like elves. Um, that is a thing. Um, what was her hair color? Was she a redhead? No. Okay, well that like lowers the chance somewhat. Uh, Redhead? Redhead elves. Hmm. Locks and nods approvingly. But we can just, we just need to get rid of her. Uh, Maybe knock her unconscious or scare her off. Um, She has a lot of uh, the the class members. Oh yeah, those mercenary types. I mean, you can handle them. I won't even, you know, oh, know. you guys he are can. pretty, you guys are pretty tough. Milo kicked the, hits really hard with that mace. 
Because he's bleeding from his forehead. Also got fists. Mm. Yeah, no, those are hard as your fist. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're you're lot are gonna go fight them, I'll just stay here if that's all right. What? Stay in the middle of the hinterlands while we go and save Dragon. Uh, I can Tenebox. hide. I think. Yeah, you you just need to rest up, Gwyneth. We're all just a bit frazzled right now. Yeah, let's just let's take some time for ourselves. Let's take an hour. Yeah, everyone, everyone, take an hour. We'll take a we'll take a break, maybe a ten minute break to get coffee, and <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> we'll we'll come back and you can kind of think what your your characters would be thinking. <clears throat> but yeah, Why did I lay on hands. Why did I lay on hands? You, you panicked <laughs> after taking hands. sixty damage in one turn. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go uh, say hi to my girlfriend and my. Very barky dog. Who? <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, that was awesome. Let's go. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just take a wee five ten minute break. Times. Every time your dog seems to bark at the right time. That's good. I'm, I'm pleased that she has good uh, comic timing. All right. 